Hey guys, today we'll talk about how to use a battle scrap. I've heard from some of you that it can be a daunting task for the beginners to use this app. Obviously for me, it doesn't feel like it because I've used it for a lot of years now, but that's why we're going to do this guide so that everyone knows how to properly use this app because it's a very good app. Quick recap what battle scrap is. It's essentially an army builder app, which gives you access to all the currently available rules so that you don't have to go to Warhammer community website, download the newest FAQ, uh, the newest data slate, everything should be up to date if you wait at least like a week or two after the update. Uh, the guys, uh, awesome guys in the Warhammer community, they update the Battle Scrub file uh, for the 40k game and uh, that file should be in your app if you update it, which we'll also talk about how to do that. You can virtually have a limitless amount of rosters in it, so you can have all of your favorite factions inside one app. Um, the app has limited uh, capabilities in terms of organizing, unfortunately, so you'll probably just have a long list of rosters. But if you name each and every one of them so you know what's inside, you should not have a problem with it. If you ever tried writing a 40k list on a piece of paper, when I remember my first Tau list back in 8th edition 2017, I did just that. It's an awful thing. You almost definitely will forget something. You'll either overcharge you or undercharge you in points and uh, that's always bad and you will probably forget to write down your wallet traits or pick your faction traits something like that that's why you need an app which keeps check of these things and know and you will know if something is wrong easily there are some war gear combinations in 40k which are very very specific and like literally come down to a wording in a sentence how much of a certain thing or how little you can take for a certain unit or model and uh, it's easy to make a mistake if you're doing it by hand that's why Battle Scribe is so great. Obviously there is the official 40k app but to be honest I don't like it it still doesn't work as well as I would like it to and also it's a paid app you have to pay for it whereas Battle Scribe is completely free if you want you can pay for something like I think five bucks uh, a year uh, if you don't want to see the annoying ads in at the bottom of the screen I also have a capability to add units and models to your favorites which I like doing and also to support the app even though I think it's abandoned by the developer now and is not updated but it still works and I think you can still download in the app store at least I, I was able to do that for this video so uh, hopefully you can use it now and this guide is not in vain. So this is how the Battle Scribe app looks as soon as you download it empty completely empty nothing in it we have a big orange button in the lower right corner this is one that we're going to use to create a new roster but first we need to download some information the database essentially for the rules so that the app can use them to uh, show us all the models all the stats all that stuff in order to do that you need to press the button that's highlighted now on the screen the three horizontal lines that will transfer you to the manage data menu so if you press the big orange button in the lower right corner it will bring you to the menu where you can find the warhammer 40,000 repository it's quite a long list so don't be discouraged it's there just scroll down it's for alphabetical reasons and the warhammer 40,000 file version 9.7.9 .9 is the most current one by the way that pop-up you just saw usually you should press yes to make sure that everything is up to date in your app now when you have downloaded the repository you can press the big orange button again and select your catalog and essentially it's just your faction so if you want to create a case knights list you should select case Knights catalog and for the purposes of this video we're going to select Necrons because we are going to be creating a Necrons list for as an example so as soon as you select the catalog you will be presented with a choice of a detachment obviously now we only use Arcs of Omen detachment but if you want to you can select any one of these so let's select Arcs of Omen and go forth so as you can see now we have our Arcs of Omen Necrons detachment ready and another last step before we actually go into the roster is creating a new name for the list. I recommend to always name the list by the faction and the points limit and you also can choose the points limit here so that if you go over that the app will notify you. Now that we have all the data necessary here we can proceed and actually create our roster. 
And this is how blank roster looks in Battlescribe. So uh, all of these horizontal lines, apart from the first one, which is configuration, are going to be your models and your units that you're going to fill out the roster with. Configuration, on the other hand, is where you select all of your special rules for the faction and also select what kind of game you're playing so that the app knows which rules to apply to it. So, for example, if you're playing Arcs of Omen, we should go to the game type, which I'm going to show later, and select actually the game type Arcs of Omen. Same goes for your dynastic code or your chapter tactic. If you're playing Nullwalk or if you're playing Crimson Fists, you're going to you're going to select that here so that the app knows what you're playing and adapt accordingly. And obviously, if there is such an option in your codex, you will be able to select your custom dynasty or custom chapter there as well. And it's also where we should select our um, Arcs of Omen compulsory unit type. So which unit type we're going to have more of so that the app can track that stuff for us so that we don't go overboard with one particular battlefield role now let's add some units this is how a list of units looks we have all of the hqs available to us in our current mode so if we were to select another dynasty we would not be able to select a unit that does not belong to that particular dynasty can be chosen for it obviously we see the points cost here and the power power level as well and we should press the orange uh, plus sign to add that to our roster. Let's proceed to the elite, select our elite choices. I'm selecting Nightbringer here, Plasma Sight, the Lich Guard, Scorpec Destroyers, and I think that's it. We also have some fast attack in our list, which is going to be two units of Canoptic Scarab Swarms and one Canoptic Wraith. And we're just pressing that plus sign, adding everything in. And how can we create a Necrons list without a good old monolith. Of course, we're going to add that as well. So now we have our units generally almost done, but we still have some problems with the quantities of units and the settings. So now let's go and set up our characters first. We went and selected Anarchy as our warlord, just pressing that icon to the right of him and also selecting a warlord trait for him. As you can see, there is an orange exclamation mark at the top of the screen. This is our errors menu, a very important one. It's where we can see what's wrong with our list. When you press it, the app sends you into this errors menu and here is everything that we should change about our list first we forgot to choose our game type so is it an chapter proof arcs of omen are we playing with the just uh, gt rules from the uh, old core rules of ninth edition or some other version of the game the app knows them all and we just need to tell it which one we are going to choose and we also see that for some reason the app is telling us that we need to select an uh, curious warlord trade uh, implacable conqueror uh, and we must have it, even though I'm pretty sure you can have a warlord and not pay for his warlord trades. I'm almost certain that you can do that, but for some reason, app wants us to uh, still like buy a wallet tree for him sometimes mistakes happen maybe i'm wrong but uh, i don't think so now let's go out of this menu and try to correct some of these mistakes so first we we'll come back to the configuration menu select our game type and select chapter approved arcs of foment because that's what we're using now now let's select anarchy's wallet trade so implacable conquer it is they really the app really wants us to have that as a selection we still have the error at the top of the screen. We're going to check that later. For now, let's change the Chronomancer's war gear choices. So for that, we need to press on him and uh, we are sent into his special menu where we can change his weapon options. I'm going to select the Entropic Lance, which is going to add 10 points to his price tag. And also that's where we can select the Cryptic Arcana for him. And that's also where you would see on like a Black Templar Sergeant, you would be able to select his Relic um the relic that you pay points for uh, in this case i can also select a relic for the character the actual command point relic <laughs> that we pay command points for a veil of darkness and that's pretty much it that's what i want for him for the Kitan, we're going to select his powers. As you can uh, see already, everything that's special about a model can be changed in this context menu for this guard we're going to change their 
quantity so we're going to have 10 of them and also have a weapon choice of hyper face swords and shields now as you can see there is this uh three dot button next to each unit and it opens up a special menu where we have some cool options we can add it here which is obviously the same thing as uh, just pressing onto the unit we can also duplicate a unit which is very good when we want the same thing over and over again we can remove a unit here that's the only way you can do that and we can also add a unit to favorites if we have that paid subscription if you press view you will see the entire list of rules that's available for the particular unit in the app so if you forget something during the game you can just go there press view and check out any given rule that you forgot so some more housekeeping here i'm changing the quantities of the scorpion destroyers checking something else i think i forgot my heavy support that's why we have 1695 out of 2000 and let's add them it's going to be two units of lockhouse destroyers with ghost destructors i'm changing the quantities on each uh, two three and then i'm going to duplicate that unit so now i have 1995 and uh, my ocd is killing me now so i'm going to add five points uh, particle caster to one of the canoptic wraiths just to make it 2000 points on the nose now this is complete if we press the i button the button that looks like an eye we can view the entire list in this long format i don't really like it because it's very cumbersome i like to view it in this uh, list format and that's where we can also share a list by pressing a button right next to the eye we can select any of these formats i usually select custom text and that's how i can uh, copy the text if you want you can customize the output i usually leave it at the most basic format we can uh, get rid of some of the information here but that's pretty much the best you can do if you want it to be very very slim you will be uh, required to uh, do it manually so now we can also access the special functions menu for the entire roster at the top right of the screen and we can edit uh, information of the roster here uh, and change the name change the points limit add a detachment if you will like and that's that can be useful if you want to run say a patrol of votan with your space marines that's where you would go to add that to your list in this case we're not going to do that because necrons don't have any allies they just want everything dead <laughs> so that's why we're going to skip this option the great feature i use all the time is duplicate roster it allows you to have a copy of your current roster which you automatically go into you don't have to exit this roster and go into the next one you will be automatically sent into it and you can edit whatever you like without damaging your previous original one saves you a bunch of time on not adding all of that basic information back into it like your basic HQs which may be the same in your two rosters if you just experiment so if you really want to support the app and have that favorites option which I think is great because sometimes for example if you use the same kind of unit in each of your for example uh, space marine units so you use a 10 terminators with thunder hammers and you just want to select those 10 thunder hammer terminators all the time and you want to change the weapon loadouts and the quantities you just want to press one button and have it at the tip of your fingers that's where the paid subscription can be useful and also lastly you can synchronize your bell scribe app with dropbox very good if you have a couple of devices or just want to keep your roster safe uh, in case something happens to your phone or tablet so you can have all your rosters on your ipad on your iphone or android device whatever you're using and uh, all of them will be synchronized and updated constantly that's a great feature i like it a lot especially when you're changing phones i don't think that uh, if you're changing phones all of these reserve copy options are going to synchronize your bell scrap data at least not on the iphone i think and dropbox is a perfect way to get that data across to your next device and that's it guys i hope this video was useful for you if you have any questions on how to use bell scrap or anything else let me know in the comment section below i hope you are now a proficient user of this app and i recommend to go and install it it's very good it bumps up your skill at creating a roster from a novice to a advanced beginner instantly almost instantaneously just by allowing you to see your entire force all together so you can have a better picture of what you're actually putting on the table that's why i like it so much i'll see you next time